Hello and welcome to the card hopping hop organized by Jen at Handmade Happiness Facebook group. As always, we have a team that is too cute and the technique I chose to use is creative die cutting and I will show you right away in my process. I have a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock and I have placed some of the nesting circle dies taped down together to be able to create frames and I use a magnetic shim to help me keep the dies in place before adding the tape to hold them and I run it all through my die cutting machine and here are all these circle frames and fast forward I made rainbow I used different distress inks I swiped some of the ink on each frame and then just dabbed it with the mini ink blending tool and I sprinkled perfect pearls mixed with water while this rainbow is drying I took this new to me patterned paper the whole pack is filled with clouds and starry skies and I chose one that was quite matching with my rainbow rainbow to be I will cut it a bit later and this paper is so smooth but it's also thinner and here I have a slimline card base a piece of vellum and also this die set the one on the right it has and this cloud borders and I'll be cutting this piece of the patterned paper using the two cloud borders and I have a piece of just white cardstock that is the size of a slimline card and I'm positioning the cloud dies so that they match with the clouds from the paper and I'll be creating layers I also have this vellum piece and I will also add a layer between the two patterned papers and I will repeat the process until I have the full panel filled Here I fast forward and I have all die cut and arranged and I also used washi tape to hold the pieces in place. Uh, this is a new to me product from Moda Scrap. It's called Jelly and I'm actually using it for the first time. I took a small piece of makeup sponge and I'm just dabbing a little bit from the jelly around the edges and here you can see the sparkle and I will do same for all of the vellum pieces few hours later and everything is dry and I also cut out three clouds and I applied the jelly also to the rings that I adhered on a piece of copy paper I also did um, partial die cutting to create this blue pearlescent frame I used the frame die and I ran it through my die cutting machine twice and I created um, this frame before adhering everything down I first decide where I want the rainbow to be so I snipped one end so I can tuck it behind the cloud border one side decide where will be the other end I snip it off and I will use one of the die cut clouds to hide the adhesive that I'll be adding 
once I have everything adhered, I use my trimmer to cut the excess. And it's time to attach the frame. I use a thin double-sided adhesive and also a little bit of liquid adhesive just to make sure everything stays flat at the edges. As I said in the beginning, this is a hop, so make sure you check my description down below for the link to the next person and I will also have the full lineup in case you are lost. There are so many amazing creators, so make sure you check them all and give them some love. I'll be using unicorns from this stamp set and I had my daughter pick her favorite ones and I tried to match the colors to the rainbow. Here I'm giving you a closer look. I added a sentiment on one more cloud and, and this is my finished card. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, give me thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Bye.